Walter Soriano, Walter Zvi Soriano, born December 24, 1967, is a British-Israeli businessman and philanthropist based in London. He is CEO and owner of USG Security Limited, a UK-based firm specializing in crisis management and litigation support, and WS Alum, a real estate management company. He is a family friend of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Biography Soriano was born in Argentina and immigrated to Israel as a young man. He served in the Israel Defense Forces as an intelligence officer and later moved to London. On October 3, 2002, Soriano set up an international security company called the Universe Security Group, based in London, jointly owned with Guy Nagar and Yitzhak Malcho, who received about half of the company's shares. The company's board of directors also included Nahamid Moni, who served as the director general of the Mossad from 1982. In 2004, Universe Security Group was appointed by the AMP Panama Maritime Association as a RSO recognized security organization to certify ship security plans in accordance with the ISTS International Ship. In 2007, Soriano and Universe Security Group were involved in a trade deal to sell three Bell 212 helicopters, which served the Spanish Fire Department to the Georgian Ministry of Defense through the mediation of Gal Hirsch, a former Israeli brigadier general, while Hirsch served as an advisor to the Georgian Defense Minister. Between 2008 and 2011, Soriano was hired by billionaire entrepreneur Ruth Parasol and her then-husband Rusta Leon to help resolve a criminal investigation that took place against them in the United States for violating the Unlawful Internet Gambling Enforcement Act of 2006. Following Soriano's involvement, Parasol's company, Party Gaming, eventually entered a non-prosecution agreement with the Justice Department. In 2010, Soriano set up a new company called USG Security, which replaced Universe Security Group. The company provides security intelligence and investigation services to private and corporate clients in the UK and around the world, according to its website. In 2013, Soriano founded Walter Soriano London Management WSLM, WS London Management Limited, a real estate company based in London. Soriano owns or co-owns other companies, including Top 7, Top 77, Crossroads Property 2, and London Western Ranch, companies that are engaged in real estate development and management in the UK. He was also previously the owner of Football Universe Limited and acted as Diego Maradona's official European representative. In June 2019, it was reported that Soriano was asked to participate voluntarily in a closed-door hearing by the United States Senate on Russia's interference in the 2016 U.S. presidential election. However, the Senate's Intelligence Committee's report eventually concluded that Soriano introduced Russian businessman Oleg Deripaska and Dmitry Rybolovlov to Israeli company Psy Group for private projects and found no connection to the U.S. elections. In March 2020, Soriano founded the Anti-Cyberbullying Association in the UK. According to its website, the association is working together to end cyberbullying through legislation and regulation. In May 2020, Soriano joined the board of directors of Pavicat, a company that provides anti-corruption services to companies and governments. Links to Prime Minister Netanyahu in 2000, Soriano was one of the founders of an association commemorating the name and memory of Jonathan Netanyahu, brother of Benjamin Netanyahu, who was killed in Operation Intep. That same year, Soriano produced Yoni, a film about Jonathan Netanyahu's life, directed by Semyon Vinokur. The film incorporated archived materials from various sources, including the IDF video archives, the IDF spokesman archives, and the Netanyahu family. After Netanyahu lost the elections to Ehud Barak in 1999, he temporarily retired from politics and went into private business. During that time, according to Soriano, he worked with Netanyahu on a number of high-tech ventures in the United States. In 2002, 
Soriano recruited Netanyahu for paid lectures at fundraising evenings held in Mexico City for the Lev Malka organization. The story was published by Israeli newspaper Yedioth Arnoff, which claimed that Netanyahu was paid $180,000 for two days of work. Soriano confirmed to the newspaper that while living in Jerusalem, he had close ties with Netanyahu and that their relationship was based on years of deep friendship, devoid of any external interests. According to an affidavit to the court by Doron Stempler, which was filed as part of a lawsuit filed by Soriano against Revive Drucker, in 2006 Soriano initiated a meeting between Netanyahu and Mexican businessman Alonso Ansira. Ansira purchased the inactive Timna Valley copper mines in southern Israel during Netanyahu's tenure as head of the opposition in the Israeli parliament. Stampler claims his company was hired by Soriano to conduct a security survey of the assets of a large Mexican company, owned by Ansira. I remember that in that conversation, and to impress me, Mr. Soriano told me that Mr. Ansira had purchased the Timna mines and wants to restart production. Representatives of both Netanyahu and Soriano denied the claims and called the affidavit false. In early 2018, Police Commissioner Ronnie El Sheikh was interviewed by Israeli journalist Alana Dayan. In the interview, El Sheikh said, among other things, that private investigators are gathering information against Lehev 433 officers involved in investigating Netanyahu's cases. Media reports, starting with Revive Drucker on Israeli army radio, raised the possibility that Walter Soriano was behind this activity which both Soriano and Netanyahu denied. Netanyahu added that he has not met Soriano or talked to him since 2010. No proof of Soriano's involvement was ever published. Defamation Suits In February 2018, Soriano filed an ILS 500,000 defamation claim against Israeli journalist Revive Drucker and in May 2019 filed a second claim for ILS 580,000 against Drucker, together with the website Ha'ayin HaShevit, journalist Oren Persico and editor Shupi Tosig. In October 2019, Soriano sued Twitter in Dublin for defamation in order to stop false and malicious allegations about him online. In an interview for the Daily Telegraph in 2020, he stated that he plans to sue Google, by May 2021, Soriano has sued at least 10 journalists and news media worldwide, including U.S.-based Forensic News, which he sued in the U.K. under Section 9 of Defamation Act 2013. Entities whom Soriano have sued have called him a serial slap suitor. Ha Ayan Ha Sheviet reported that Soriano hadn't sued Forensic News in California because of California's legal protection of special motion to strike. Israeli newspaper, The Marker, has stated that Soriano's attempts to stay out of the public eye via multiple defamation lawsuits has produced the opposite effect by way of the Streisand effect. Personal Life Soriano became an observant ultra-Orthodox Jew. Between 2000 and 2004, he lived in Jerusalem and studied Torah with Rabbi Moshe Shapira. He then returned to live in the Golders Green neighborhood of London. His wife, Aviva, made contributions to the Jewish preacher Yamama Mizrahi and the Hidabrut organization in London. Soriano gives over $1 million to charity every year, supporting orphans, widows and wounded soldiers in Israel as well as synagogues in Israel and in the UK and cancer research institutes. In London, he opened a synagogue named after Ravi Shapira and in his memory. Equals equals references equals equals equals